good morning. Yes. Good morning, everyone. So here we have seen till uh, something about uh, patient studies. We are basically dealing with the animal study onto the rodent and mice. So I am going to present about the anti-diabetic potential of the fermented product that is the broccoli onto the mice model. So this is the overview of my project that uh, basically we are inducing the diabetes with the dose of the streptojotosins into the mice and the high fat diet. This is the two week and the four week study or six weeks a single sort of intraperitoneal streptojotosin is given and once the diabetic animal is found that we are separating. Then after that we are starting the treatment in the different uh, dosage and uh, we have estimated the GABA content, antioxidant capacity and total polyphenolic content of the FB noodles which are the comparatively higher than the standard noodles or routine noodles. So uh, once these uh, noodles are given into the different group of the animal at the different dose, they have produced uh, lowering the blood glucose level, serum insulin resistance, HbA1c as well as they are reducing the oxidative stress parameters which are the major into the number of the disease and inflammatory metal, uh, parameters, tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukins as well as there is improvement into the histology of the pancreas as well as there is a glycolysis, purine, amino acid metabolism that is also altered and that can be studied by the metabolomic studies of the different metabolites of the noodles. So you see that are the wet noodles which are the popular food for us, for the Asians but it is considered as one of the worst foods for the diabetes because they are the triggering the higher fasting blood glucose through the insulin resistance and the hyperglycemia. And they are also producing the certain brain related disorder, Parkinsonism, obesity and all that thing. So our idea is, uh, as you can see that uh, yogurt, kefir, uh, similar type of the uh, curd, but there is a thinner consistency. Homemade dosa, we are not going for the outside because they, they are adding a certain yeast and the something thing. So we are not relying on that in terms of the fermented product. Homemade pickles and the kimchi, that is a one of the Korean products uh, of the cabbage and the uh, lettuce product. So all these products uh, are uh, very good results in the diabetes. By terms of inhibition of the DNA damage, intracellular lipid peroxidation, that is a special oxidative stress thing, as well as the pro apoptotic pathway where a caspase 3 activation which will lead to the apoptosis. That is also found to be a reduced their expression in our study. And the overall there is a regulation of the glucose metabolism. So, as per our uh, literature survey, there is a no study exists on the antidiabetic effect of these uh, noodles which are the prepared by using the broccoli. So, what we have done, what we have prepared the particular thing and as per the written data, believe in the quality, don't go for a particular quantity things and that we found in our results also. So, overall we have prepared the noodles, there are noodles metabolites which are there. So, after number of the isolation 80 metabolites, we are finally concluding the 12 metabolites which have the beneficial role into the particular anti-diabetic activity. That is also tested in vitro and the in vivo into the mice model. So basically this is the rough uh, things that is a metabolic where a number of the metabolites you will find out after the conclusive PC1 analysis. PC1 and the PC2 that is a uh, particular one important compound analysis. So after the proximate analysis uh, into the noodles what we found there is a no much more difference into the nutritional level. There is a no significant changes is found in terms of the moisture as crude fat, crude protein and the carbohydrate. Then uh, whatever the noodles are containing the GABA, then then uh, ferric uh, frape analysis and the uh, total polyphenolic compound, all these three things majorly are found to be an increase with the uh, noodles with the broccoli and all that are found to be a regulating the blood glucose level. As per the metabolites analysis, as per the metabolic, a certain metabolites have isolated. Organic acids, there is a 21 percentage, amino acid 20 percentage by using the in-house lab library program, sugars, fatty acid and then amines. So all these major metabolites are a major pathway just like glycolysis, amino acid and fatty acid metabolism and the TCA and they are basically influence the diabetes. In our study, they are affecting the glycolysis and they are decreasing that absorption of the glucose by increasing the insulin sensitivity. This is the one particular successive uh, principal component analysis PC1 and the PC2 where that yellow color compound oxamic acids, adenosine glycerol, pyruvate they are positively contribute to the activity PC1 while something negative compound that is a leucine, isolation that are the obtained through the BCAA branch chain amino acids uh, metabolism to that PC1. Additionally, 
another pseudo they are stearic acids palmitate palmitic acids folic acids they are also contribute to the uh, pseudo analysis and at the end we have found this 12 metabolites that is a 15 nitro glucosidol adenosine oxalic acid and glycerol which level had found higher into the fba nodal that is a, a broccoli uh, fermented nodal so why alucin isolation uric acids valine lysine are found to be a less amount this is the basically experimental design what we are using from uh, 2013 a standard streptojotocin is a one of the chemical of the sigma aldrich by a different dose we have just little bit modified our the dosing pattern which will cause the destruction of the beta cell of the animal model so these are the particular four group we have designs and as per that the blood glucose level we have, uh, we have observed that is found to be a normal into the normal control animal the nodal which are the fb they will found to be a decrease while the insulin level was found to be a increase through the pathway of the glycolysis so further parameter are the dna rna and the caspase 3 activity basically they are associated with the pro apoptotic pathway and they lead to the apoptosis that is also found to be a uh, dna and rna specially found to be a increase while that uh, t bars that is a one of the oxidative stress parameter thiobarbituric active reacting substance lipid peroxidation process that are found to be a decrease after the treatment of the noodles a different three dose while the tsh as well as the catalase and the sod which are considered as antioxidant parameter they are found to be a significantly increase in the three different group additionally we have one for this caspase uh, immunohistochemistry where there is also the significantly decrease into the caspase 3 activity which has found to be a increase into the pro apoptotic pathway as per the chart then anti inflammatory effect of this on to the pancreas uh, we have made the homogenate of the pancreas as per the standard procedures there it is also found that tumor necrosis factor interleukin 6 interleukin 1 beta interleukin 10 and the nitric oxide and inducible nitric oxide synthetase what all are getting increase into the streptojotocin induced diabetic animal that all found to be a significantly reduction into their parameter additionally we have gone for the histology of the pancreas where you can see a uh, diagram a indicating the normal control uh, pancreas while the b it is a streptojotocin induced where a beta cells are going to be reducing into the number compared to the a control while the treatment part is the c d e and the a where there is a slowly slowly they are regenerating or procuring the mass of the islets of the cells and that's why they are increasing the insulin level so this is the final discussion that when we are giving the streptojotocin they will produce the hyperglycemia there will be a generation of the reactive oxygen space and uh, something like the mitochondria is also playing the role where there is increase into the you, level of the you have to wrap it up uh, time is over here and uh, okay and so we can use as a additive as a potential dietary